So basically, you guys remember Matthew Perry, who Friends actor, he drowned in his jacuzzi. Uh, it came out um, when they did the, to the toxicology report that he had drugs in his system. He had a drug uh, called ketamine in his system. So the people that were arrested um, were two medical doctors, uh, Matthew Perry's assistant that lived with him, um, and a woman that calls herself the ketamine queen. So they were charged with conspiracy to distribute ketamine, distribution of ketamine resulting in death and bodily injury. And some people, some of those people now are facing anywhere from 15 to 25 years for this. So Matthew Perry had been getting ketamine infused therapy for anxiety and depression. Mm -hmm. But when he passed away and they did the toxicology report, um, they determined that number one, the last therapy session he had was like a week and a half prior to his death. So there was no way that the recent drugs were from that treatment. Mm -hmm. It had to be something new. So that triggered the investigation to figure out like, you know, who was selling him the drugs, who's responsible. So from this, um, now you have multiple agencies that do a search warrant. They go through people's uh, computers, phones, they're all throughout, you know, these these people's homes. Um, and they find a bunch of different stuff. They find uh, text messages. And some of the text messages, they're mm. actually talking about selling him the drugs, how much he would spend, um, the day that Matthew Perry actually passed away. Uh, the Ketamine Queen uh, texted some people and said, delete our text. Uh, we have a, a brief, clip from, brief clip from the presser I want you guys to hear. Following Mr. Perry's death in October of last year, law enforcement, my office, and our partners represented on this stage began an in-depth, wide-ranging investigation. That investigation has revealed a broad, underground criminal network responsible for distributing large quantities of ketamine to Mr. Perry and others. This network included a live-in assistant, various go-betweens, two medical doctors, and a major source of drug supply known as, quote, the ketamine queen. We charged five defendants in this matter. These defendants took advantage of Mr. Perry's addiction issues to enrich themselves. Over two months, from September to October 2023, they distributed approximately 20 vials of ketamine to Mr. Perry in exchange for $55,000 in cash. Jesus. I always wondered, you know, I'm glad you said that though, because I always, always wondered how did they find the drug dealers? Like how did they track the drugs back to the dealers? And I they track always it back. That. Yeah, yeah, they track it back. So um, when the charges come down, I mean, first of all, when a death like this happens, especially a big celebrity, they begin to track it back. Who was he talking to? Somebody had to be supplying them because Matthew Perry isn't just popping up and going and doing certain things, right? And once they track it back, there's trails so you get the, the assistance records the assistant is having conversations with people like they had a drug broker in this I've never heard of that that's some rich stuff has this always been happening or is this a new thing because back in the day you heard of people overdosing but you never heard about the dealers getting arrested what? I always felt like I've only heard about it when it comes to celebrities. Like, I know that happened with um, Mac Miller. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. Like, I've only ever heard about it when it comes to celebrities. I don't know how this works for regular people, but... But not, but not only that, you know, with, with the assistant, you know, because if you're addicted to drugs and you want that drug, whether my assistant gets it or I'm going to drive out and get it myself, you want that drug, right? Or was she making profit off of it or I mean we they were making profit profit off of it but yes he wanted it um but the thing the way that the police are are kind of positioning this is like he was going through a really tough time um between I think it was like September and October mm -hmm. um and during that time yeah so from September to October 28 2023 which is uh, when he passed away he was going through a really tough addiction time and he took advantage of it that's mm -hmm. how they're positioning it so they wanted to find out like who took advantage what was sold to him and the quite the ketamine queen lady um, I believe her first name is pronounced Jasmine. She actually sold him the fatal dose of the ketamine, that the one that actually killed him. Um, like it, from what they're saying, she got charged with murder. So she, I know she can face up to twenty five years. I'm not for sure. I, I'm not for sure like how that goes into murder and like mm -hmm. how the charges are. The only charges I saw were the two I announced in the beginning. But when the charges came down, of course they were arrested. Then they're not arrested now. They bonded out. Um, but she pleaded not guilty. Um, to the charges, mm -hmm. so it's also the drug that excites authorities, right? Like fentanyl, ketamine, those are the things they go after. Huh? Oh yeah, and let me tell you, when they went in Sis' house, the ketamine queen, she had like so much in her house. So they found eighty vials of ketamine, mm. thousands of thousand like thousands of whatever of meth, uh, pills, coke, Xanax, and other drug paraphernalia. Like they found, and well, even her question, text messages. And and I don't know much about those drugs. What is ketamine? Do you sniff it? Do you take it? Do you inhale so it? So ketamine... You give yourself a shot? What What is it? It's infused in different things, but um, well, the biggest thing that you would know ketamine for is like people use it when they're putting you under for anesthesia. Mm. So what they're saying is Matthew Perry was actually taking enough that like 
it was the same amount that you would use when you're going under like a a low level of like anesthesia like gotcha. so it's and, and and that's why they're saying like he took it he was in his pool or his jacuzzi he went out and then he drowned gotcha they got rectal ketamine too did you google that or did you already have you knew that or in your you mind does he know about that already yeah, like you, you tried it before they, i knew that you tried you knew it before that? they you, call it a plugging drug you used it before? Okay. I'm not making this up. Yo, you can look it up. I know, but uh, no, did you I, use I, it I, I, I trust your sources because I'm sure they're pretty close to your rectum. No, that's why I don't try to educate Negroes. Build a wall. <laughs> Build a wall. You mad? We don't want to learn I, about I, rectal I, plugs. I, 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 and I'm, just, rectal I'm just adding to ketamine. the conversation. Just, uh, have you used it before? Did, did they put one finger oh, to like how they put it up? Build there? a wall. Well, we're gonna go. <laughs> can we build a wall? Okay, build a wall already. Right. You let to back it up to that wall. <laughs> right. Thank God people don't overdose on crack is the moral of the story. That, uh, Can you? I don't know. I also feel like that was just dark. What? I don't, I'm don't. i sure you can overdose on crack. I feel like you can overdose on any drug, right? Let me see how big this wall should be. Yes, <laughs> you could overdose <laughs> on I'm sure you I, I don't get into drugs and I never sold drugs, yeah, so I don't, I don't know. know. Should I do two walls? <laughs> two walls. I just one big one for both of y'all. No, two. Two out. Build a wall, man. We're already matching. Can so my I wall be like the walls in a loft so I can put like really good photos on them? I do a lot of photo shoots. Can I have a glass wall so I can see <laughs> out? I don't want to talk. I, it's enough. It's, 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 <laughs> All right. Well, Charlemagne, who would you like to give your donkey to this morning? I'm coming back to back. Okay. <laughs> you like back every, to back. Everything with you is about to back today. Talking about ain't no plugging and all. Let's Yo, go. Yo, Red, throw on some B-King. Let's see what that back do. Back that ass up. Play juvenile next. I wait for you to pull juvenile up. Hey man, what you want to talk about? Man. Let's go back. Yeah, build to that. Listen. Build that wall so he can throw Listen, you one and give you a wall. Please. No, okay. I'm not growing up. <laughs> I'm not growing up. We need Judge Ken of King to come to the front of the conversation again. again. Yes. He doubled down. No, he didn't double down. Oh. But you know, there's an update into the story and the situation. You know, he's the judge in Detroit uh, who put that poor 16 year old girl in handcuffs and jail clothes just because she fell asleep on a damn field trip. But there's an update on the story. Uh, we'll talk about it when we come back. All right, it's the Breakfast Club. Good morning. Wake that ass up early in the morning. The Breakfast Club.